The circumstances of these pardons are so strange that they had to be investigated. I mean, On December 13th, Senate Minority Leader Morgan McGarvey and Representative Chris Harris sent this letter to then-Attorney General-elect Daniel Cameron after Governor Matt Bevan announced more than 650 pardons and commutations. Some drew praise, while others drew harsh criticism. The most controversial was the pardon granted to Patrick Michael Baker, who was convicted of reckless homicide, robbery, impersonating a peace officer, and tampering with evidence. You have a person who killed someone in their home, uh, he's out of jail. The two accomplices who didn't pull the trigger are still sitting in jail. And at first glance, the only difference between the three is that the person who's out had family connections who gave money to the governor. In Cameron's response letter, he said, quote, I stand by the outstanding work of Kentucky's prosecutors and respect the decisions of juries who convict wrongdoers. While Kentucky's constitution gives the governor the power to pardon a person convicted of a crime, I believe the pardon power should be used sparingly and only after great deliberation with due concern for public safety. The attorney general is taking this seriously, and he is forwarding it on to the FBI to investigate because we know this reeks of political favoritism, but we've got to investigate it to make sure that there's not something worse there. As for what will come of the investigation, that remains unclear. Earlier this week, U.S. Attorney Russell Coleman said if any of the crimes pardoned took place in the Western District of Kentucky, his office will look at whether they can be prosecuted in federal court. Well, we'll look at it through the lens of the statute of limitations. We'll look at it through the lens of double jeopardy. But if the underlying conduct meets our federal standards, we will aggressively prosecute.